welcome to my channel i am the pink flamingo and i want to say thank you all for getting me to the thousand subscriber mark i appreciate all of you for taking the time out subscribing people who've been leaving wonderful comments beneath of encouragement it's very heartwarming especially to me as a new youtuber i appreciate all of you so big 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 thank you i appreciate it and i will continue to do the best i can and put out content for you all as for my subscribers who've been waiting on their request i promise i am working on them hit the notification bell and a lot of that stuff should be uploaded within the next couple of weeks uh, the next celebrity reading for the celebrity squad will be taylor swift so be on the lookout for that as for the reading today this is somewhat of a subscriber request and the subscriber had requested this reading when the case of Simon Case <laughs> had basically, that story had come out. And if you don't know about the Simon Case story, he is someone that's involved in the UK journalism, in the media out there. And it was said that he was kind of biased and racist towards Meghan Markle and Harry. And they weren't able to prove it at the time, but things are slowly coming out and things are slowly being exposed and harry also had a case against the sun that media outlet the sun and he won his lawsuit so really when you think about it if they didn't have enough evidence to go to court against harry and their defense was basically to tap out and say hey we're not ready for court well you don't have much of a defense when you're a liar so congratulations to Harry for exposing exposing that um, Sun Media outlet and letting the world know what they really do in terms of how you were treated and all the biases and how they twist these stories when necessary, allegedly. So what we're going to be doing is the coverage on the UK news and media. Now, I think it's a very important read to do to check the energy and the temperature of that. Because as of recently, if you haven't heard through the UK news, King Charles has been in the news. And you can check out some of this on Murad's channel. He does a wonderful job of covering all of this royal news. But I'm basically piggybacking off of some of the stuff he said and doing my readings on that. So go check Murad out. But Murad was basically covering a few stories, especially that of King Charles, and how King Charles, as of lately, has been getting this whole thing of he's very, very sick. He's not going to make it. We are planning funeral plans as we speak. We're getting coffins ready. And I don't know if King Charles simply is in agreement with this, if he wants to agree with this, <laughs> only because when you are someone going through your therapies and your treatments, you're kind of trying your best to look at it from a positive point of view. So I don't think King Charles would really be submitting this type of information to the UK media that he's one step away from the coffin, especially when he's been waiting his entire life to be king. I don't think he's ready to be out of this world. So as of lately, he's taken a photo of Camilla looking very healthy, letting us know he's going to be back in full effect to royal duties very soon after he has his treatments. And that all of these funeral hymns that have been singing for him, there's no need for it. But one would say, why would they start writing this type of information? And why is the journalist simply spreading this type of propaganda about King Charles? Well, look no further than his wonderful son, Prince William. Prince William seems to want to get him into the coffin real soon. And most of us already have our opinions, so we know why. If you, you know, if he takes the big chair, he can avoid the big house. So I can understand why. But we're going to get into these cards because a lot of this nonsense that they're allowed to post is getting out of hand. These stories from years ago about Catherine why are they not demanding more when it comes to princess catherine why are they allowed to just publish old crap 
that nobody seems to want to read about. Why are we out here posting old photos of Lewis? Now, if you guys don't know about that reading that I did with Thomas Van Strapenzi on the children, go check that out and take a look at that read. But, you know, recently they're just able to get away with this. Prince William has full effect of the media and what he's able to push into the media. And nobody in the UK seems to want to step up and say, hey, this is ridiculous. Where is Catherine? We don't want to see old videos of Catherine. We want to know where she is today. She's just been given a title and we have not even heard the slightest of thank you all for the support. You're giving titles, but you don't come out and speak about it. This is not strange. We're just going to continue with the charade of putting old photos out and saying that she'll be back to duties. And speaking of duties, it seems like Prince William has just announced that she will be back to duties. But when she will be back to duties, she won't really be back to duties. She won't be out and about is basically what he said. But go check that out on Mirage channel. So I'm going to get the energy of the UK media and see what it is that they know. Because this is just getting ridiculous at this point. All right, Spirit, give me a few cards when it comes to the intentions and the energy of the UK media. Do they actually know something? Do they actually feel something is wrong? Are they covering this all up? For Prince William, he seems to want to break news of his father getting into the grave real quick. What's the energy, spirit? Give me a couple cards for this. What's the UK media's energy when it comes to... All of the shenanigans with the royal family, Princess Catherine's disappearance, King Charles being pushed right into the grave. <laughs> What's the energy? Is there truth to some of this stuff or is, are they just full with complete deception currently? Are they helping William? Let's see what we can get here. Loss. Hmm. This twin flame card has returned. Twin flame could definitely be Rose. She seems to pop up as the twin flame every time I get her. Very much so could be Rose. What else, spirit? Regrets? Strategizing? <laughs> One last card. One last card for the energy of what it is that William and the UK press got going on here. There we go. So I got loss. I got twin flame. I got control. Now in my readings, if you go back to a couple of my readings, the twin flame card had come out and I believe now twin flame, when spirit is referring to Rose, he spirit refers to Rose as somewhat of like a twin flame, like they're a mirror of each other. Now, I don't know if they're really twin flames, but when the twin flame comes out, it usually just means someone that mirrors somebody energy wise. So I received the twin flame card, which is letting me know that the media, and we have seen it in the media. 
Rose is being pushed a certain way. As of recently, we had that news about Rose is assisting Catherine. So am I surprised the Twin Flame card is popping up when I talk about the media? No, because Rose has been in the media. Spirit is letting me know. The media very much know, so knows that there's loss. Someone has been lost. Their energy of it is they know that more than likely Catherine is not here. I'm getting the twin flame energy. Like I stated, that's the energy of Rose because that's the energy that they had when I did a couple readings back and the, the energy fell out of William's energy. The twin flame card fell out for him. So I feel that Rose at this point might be represented as the twin flame. She always pops up that way. Or in my other deck, she pops up as smell the roses. So this is the card that I always get that references Rose. Now, I'm not surprised that the card comes up and it kind of represents Rose only because they might be a mirroring image of each other. Now, Spirit also let me know the media is controlled. That was a card that I got. Okay. I got the card of regrets. So a part of the media might feel regretful or the people who've wrote stories in journalism. Now that we're in about six months in with no Catherine, some people might be feeling regretful for going along with what it is that Prince William wanted them to initially go along with. You know, when you first start off in the first two months and he's giving you these excuses, you might help out. You might say, okay, well, she's healing from cancer. Don't worry about it. We got it. We'll, we'll, we'll write this article to look this particular way so that the people can kind of leave you alone so she can heal. But now that five or six months is getting in, people are saying, where the heck is Catherine? This is not cancer. This can't be the reason. And some of the people in the media are starting to feel a little bit regretful that they even helped William get away with it. But they know now he's strategizing. He's strategizing. And he's masking. He's hiding something. And they know this much. And for the people who pay attention to the UK media, you know, for a little while, they've been trying their best even with recently to even try to make Rose look a particular way. They've been trying to make it, trying to push her somewhat slowly onto the public, trying to put her in a good light. Now word on the street is that Rose's husband is, is in Timbuktu with his lover. No, that's the word on the street. I haven't done the reading on that, but people are saying he is nowhere near Rose. And that he's out and about with his lover. I don't know if this is in Spain, Rome, or where else, but this is what they're saying. So the loss, they very much so know that there is a loss of some sort. This is the energy of the people in the media. They're not stupid. They are not stupid. They're aware. But unfortunately, like Spirit said, it is controlled. It is controlled. They know the loss exists. They don't know what kind of loss maybe. They don't know if Catherine is really deceased. They don't know if there's a divorce maybe taking place, but they know that around the royal family, something is not right. Someone is not there. They're aware of the fact that William is pushing his twin flame, his lover, Slowly trying to make the people of the UK accept Rose. We're getting all this stuff of, oh, well, Rose is a great friend to Catherine and she's helping out with the children. She's all the support Catherine will need. And of course, when you write these types of article, you have your regrets. Because now you're wondering, are you helping a man cover up? Cover up something that you shouldn't. 
when you realize he's strategizing. He's strategizing and concealing. Concealing the mask. Hiding. So I'm not surprised these cards are coming out. From that with the rose to the controlled. The strategizing. The mask. They know there's loss. They just don't know what. So I'm going to tap into my other oracle, but I'm not surprised by the cards coming out in this particular deck. When it comes to this, he has definitely been pushing roles to look a certain way. You know, and spirit has referenced this woman has his twin flame a couple, I guess once before. So I'm not surprised that these are the cards coming out for, um, for that situation. All right, spirit, I want the energy between Charles, King Charles and Prince William currently with what's going on in the media. King Charles seems to be a little bit irritated with his son, William, pushing him into the grave very early, making him look very weak as a king. What is the energy on these two? William is being accused of this. How does Charles feel about what it is that William is doing? Now we know that overall guys that Charles is a bit disappointed in how William turned out. But what I'm asking now is how he feels about this media stuff towards his son. I think it's very sad i guess i would assume for him to see that his son is willing to throw him under the bus to protect himself but if you watch the reading done with harry harry said by any means so we're gonna see what charles's energy gives when it comes to this media stuff all right king charles's energy what how does king charles feel Towards William right now, based on this media stuff. Some cards here, Spirit. King Charles, Prince William, the media, King Charles. Prince William and the media. That one kind of stuck out. Puzzled. What else, spirit? What can you say about this? King Charles and Prince William. And this media stuff. Is King Charles happy about this? Is he happy about how his son may be making him look in the media? Does he think his son's guilty of this? Are these rumors? What's the energy of King Charles towards Prince William and this media stuff? Just want a couple of answers for that. What's the energy? Mm. Wow. Couple more cards, Spirit.
I'm going to let that all fall out. Wow. Okay. I understand why that fell out. Okay. So here's what I got, guys, in terms of how he feels. The first card I got was puzzled. So right now, he's confused. He's a bit perplexed. He's conflicted as to why his son is going this route when it comes to handling the media and handling him. I got the clingy and old X is not what applies, but this, unfortunately, what spirit is giving me is this might be the end of their relationship. This might somehow take William out of the eyes of being that great son that he puts on a pedestal and somewhat knocks Harry down to the ground. And like I did in my last reading in terms of King Charles and Prince William, and I had got the energy there that he might not want him to be king after him. So there's a possibility. I know it's strange to say, but they might fight against William being king at some point. Because Spirit is letting me know this relationship can go dead. I got the apology card that represents William. And in King Charles's energy, he says he's arrogant. He has rash actions and he's very insincere. This is how he looks at his son these days. He's very quick to do things, very quick to be arrogant and insincere. But this was the same energy that was given to us with the lust card in Harry's reading that William is not a genuine person. I got the karmics for them, third parties, haters, and lessons. What this card is giving me spirit wise is King Charles is aware of the fact that third parties are now involved, that now the son that he once had cannot be trusted. He will go outdoors to the out, out of the royal family and he will create these connections. He now has to look at his son, Prince William, unfortunately, as a hater. But spirit is also saying these lessons have to be learned. You created this monster. You are now stuck with him. And like I got in the other Oracle deck, the mask. So whatever it is that he's done, King Charles knows what he's doing because he's masking it. He's hiding, he's concealing and deception. And he knows at this point, his son is willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes so that he can be king. And we've seen it in the other Oracle. The mask, it has returned again. So two times, masked, masked. That just fell on the floor, but I'll get it in a second. I also got the toxic card, the drama, the arguments, and the incompatible. Now, Charles is not one to judge, but this is how he sees his son. And who is to say that there has not been drama behind the scenes between the both of them and arguments? If you try to put me in my grave before I'm good and ready, if you try to sabotage me, yeah, there might be a few arguments. Especially if I find out that you're behind some of this stuff. And spirit gave me shattered. He's shattered. He's broken nightmares and failures. So whatever it is, is on his mind. It's on his conscience as a father. He's shattered and he's broken right now because he's now seeing one of his own turn on him, especially the one that he valued the most. You, you kind of threw Harry to the wolves and you kind of said, oh, Harry's the child that nobody wants. Harry's a child that's 
not good. He's the disgrace only to find out that your son is this way. Not only is he masking and concealing what might be going on with Catherine, but he's being insincere when it comes to you. And you're shattered because of it. Because you expected him to stab everybody else in the back, but not you. And that's why you're puzzled. You can't figure out how your son could do this. And this is why that relationship has to be dead. If it ain't dead, it's on its way out. It's barely with a pulse is what spirit is giving me. But spirit said, karmics, third parties and haters. This is what you got around you now, King Charles. You got the third parties that are influenced, people from the outdoors, the media, that are willing to write poor about you and write horrible things about you. And you got the hater right under your nose, your very son. But spirit said, lessons have to be learned. This is your karma. You made this monster, you got to live with him. And the toxic, it will come. This whole thing is toxic. The world is wondering, where is Catherine? And all we're getting is old photos. So that is what I got so far. So I'm going to tap into my traditional tarot deck and see what else I can find. Now, Spirit, I got a question. There's a lot of bad things that's being spread about King Charles and his health. Is there any truth to King Charles's health declining as fast as William is placing this in the media? Give me a couple cards for that. King Charles's health. Two cards for King Charles's health. King Charles's health. Is this on the decline? Is it as bad? One last card here, Spirit. I got the King of Wands. I got the Nine of Cups in the upright. The Nine of Wands in the reverse. And I got the Two of Cups in um, the reverse. So what I'm getting based on the health, I haven't really got anything that states there's a struggle with his health. Um, what I'm getting with the King of Wands is this is his energy. He feels that he is a born natural leader. He was born to lead the country in terms of the fact that 
Queen Elizabeth, that's his lineage, and he was born to be king. Now, with the nine of cups in the upright, I'm getting the energy of, this is my wish. It's coming true. It's coming into fulfillment. This is who I want to be. This is how I want to be. But as you can see with the nine of wands, some of the key words on here is lack of trust, the struggle. He's paranoid. Defensiveness. Inner resources, right? For the nine of wands in the reverse. So what spirit is giving me with this particular card is parts of him is struggling with health health wise he knows that he could be losing the idea of being king based on health to a degree so there is a struggle he's a little bit scared he is scared about what the outcome could be with this cancer situation But with the two of cups, what I'm getting in the reverse here, based on his health and everything, because it's, you know, I'm not getting the certainty of, oh, he is going to pass away. That's not the energy I'm getting in these cards. But what I am getting in these cards are, these are the two cups. And as you can see here, the cups are like somewhat a transfer. You got to think of it like a transfer of power. So these are the cups. It's like King Charles giving over the cup to Kim William, um, Prince William. And right now what spirit is saying, it's unstable. There's a lot of distrust. This union, this card is in reverse. The two of cups usually means a union. He doesn't trust his son right now. He knows that he's sickly. You know, and parts of him feel that he's struggling. As you can see here on the card, struggle. But he's not willing to give up the fight so quick. He's not allowing this sickness to completely take over him. Parts of him feel a little bit like, you know, I'm born to do this. This is what I was made to do. I am the king of wands. I am the protector, the natural born leader. I've been waiting my whole life to do this. My wishes are coming true. It's going to happen for me. This is what I wanted. This is my achievement. But then parts of him, you know, he got that lack of trust now. He doesn't know who to trust around him. So it's not just his health that's disturbing him. It's the fact that he no longer coming in with the nine of wands in reverse. He does not feel he has an environment and the people around him to trust him in terms of him being the king of wands. It's almost like he now knows that people are ready to knock him off of the pedestal. And this is why this is in reverse, because he is not willing mentally to hand over that cup to William. So I'm going to pull a couple more cards to see if there's anything that comes up more so about his health. But I'm not getting that the health and him really being ready for the grave, so to speak. I'm more so getting the energy of, I know I got my issues and I'm struggling over here with my sickness. All right, more energy on this. more card spirit for the energy of king charles and this this illness and him being a king just all of it around the energy what what do we have here a couple more cards
King Charles's energy with this cancer situation and William. Okay. So what I'm getting now is this is going to be a little different. So what I'm getting in these cards is whew, <laughs> I got the seven of swords in reverse. I got the knight of cups. I got the four of swords in the upright. And I got the king of cups in the reverse. So what I'm getting in this is there is a possibility that William might be a bit of a prick when it comes to airing out his dad's situation. I wasn't picking up that energy in this line, but I'm picking it up now. Spirit is saying that at some point, William might have to take responsibility for what it is that he's done. Because I'm getting this card, right? The Seven of Swords, taking responsibility. Your confession and your truth will be revealed. But I'm getting the Knight of Cups. Right. So the Knight of Cups and the upright. Is someone still being able to follow their dream? So there is a possibility what will take place is William's truth might come out before his father dies. But, you know, spirit is giving me the resting card for this energy. That his father at some point is going to go to his resting place. But more than likely, this could happen right after William's truth is revealed. So it doesn't seem like spirit is giving me, oh, you know, he's going to pass and then the truth will come out. It's giving me, the truth will come out. His father will still be in the upright as the king and he will go to his resting place. But I got the king of cups coming up. In the end, untrustworthy in the reverse. So energy wise, what I'm picking up from these cards is William's truth might come out, guys, before his father passes. And the king of cups is going to be in the reverse. And it's symbolic to the King of cup, the cups here, the two of cups being transferred over as in transferred over in power. So we, as you can see here, this represents a two cups and a cup being passed and transferred, right? So when the cups is transferred, you can see right here that this king of cup now is in the reverse, which is saying, you know, power might not be transfer transferred over to, uh, Prince William, that when his father dies, this King of Cup, this transfer of power will not take in, will not take into effect. Because we got the Knight of Cups here. And Spirit is saying the truth will come out. But King Charles will be in the upright when this occurs. He will still be marching on and he will reach his resting place. So he is ill enough to reach his resting place. But what spirit is giving me is yeah, about, about William. Yeah. He might not come into King. He might not get that kingship only because spirit is saying taking responsibility. Your truth revealed. And the world will deem him as untrustworthy as king. 
So I've seen it in the other um, reading, guys, where I was saying that more than likely, William might not be king. And I'm getting this information again with the energy of King Charles in the reading. You know, based on his health, he will find his resting place, right? Because this is what I'm getting. He will find it. But it's going to be after the truth is revealed about his son. And that will change the events of how the world looks at William as a king. So what spirit is giving me is he can mask this all he wants to. He can do horrible, horrible things all he wants to. But there is no guarantee. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to grab my card here. There is no guarantee that he will be king. So all this stuff that he's doing based on the media and how he wants to run this. He can do what he wants to do in the media. He can try his best to promote roles all he wants. And hopefully think that people will see her as the queen. But this masking that he will do, it's not going to work. He can strategize all he wants in the media and tell these lies and say, Catherine will return to duty. Catherine will be doing this. Catherine will be doing that. He can continue to make his father look unwell. But no matter what William does, spirit is saying your truth is going to come out. That transfer of power and the two cups, me giving you the cup, that bond of union. Oh, it's not happening. Because your truth is going to come out before I die. So you can continue to make me look like the dying king is what spirit is giving me. You can continue to control the media all you like and tell them all the crap you'd like to. But the world knows there's a loss of some sort, whether it's a loss of your marriage or a loss of poor Catherine. But the world knows, can't conceal it forever. And people are already having their regrets, the regrets of helping you look a certain way. I'm pretty sure even some of the people that jumped on board to do that, maybe the AI video, they're now being regretful because now they're all starting to wonder, like we all are, the months are going by, where is Catherine? Is she really okay? Is she even okay? So all I can say, like spirit gave me in this. The apology, insincere, rash actions and arrogant. This is who he's created for a son. The mask, not once but twice. Spirit says this is what he's doing in the media. Masking things. Mask again. Con he's concealing. He's hide trying his best to hide the truth. But it doesn't matter. Because I got this for him. I got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. He's got to take responsibility. The confession. The truth will be revealed. The royal family will have no choice but to turn a new leaf and it will not have him on the page. As for King Charles, this will be a part of his karma. You got a hater, but you created him. The lessons are going to be learned. The same son that you put your all into is now literally putting knives in your back. But this was the karma. You could be as puzzled as you like to be. You could sit there and wonder why, why I've done everything for this child. Everything he's wanted me to do. And I'm puzzled still. Why I'm being treated the way I am. And you can sit there and be shattered all you want. You, you basically gave Harry nothing, no support. 
But now you see in the media, he's using it to make you look unwell. Just so that he can avoid maybe the big house, so he can prepare the world to take the chair, so that he can be exempt from whatever it is that he's done. We all don't know where Catherine is. We're just hoping that Catherine has, you know, moved away and maybe she's thinking about a divorce. But the days go by and we're all starting to feel that she's not with us. So, yeah, you're shattered. You're broken as the king. You poured all your love into one child somewhat. But that's my reading on the whole thing with the. With King Charles and William in the media and how King Charles really feels and what he knows and what the media knows. And as you all can see from my very first card, these are the cards that I got. I got the loss. I got the twin flame, which represents Rose. Usually when I get that card, I got the strategizing. I got the controlled, the mask, and the regrets. So people are regretful. But people know he's strategizing and he's controlling the media because he's masking something. He's preparing the world for the love, Rose. This is why we're getting all these great articles about Rose and how she's such a helpful friend to Catherine. Just always trying to spin it a certain way to make things look how he wants them to be perceived. And his father's now learning. Yeah. You got your son's your enemy when it comes to protecting himself and putting on the mask. He'll put your business out there. He'll make you look unwell. So the people of the UK are ready to say, you know what? Maybe we should go ahead and put Prince William in the chair since you're about a couple steps from your grave. But that'll be my reading on this, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. What do you think about the shenanigans of uh, William doing this to his father, making him look on dying, pushing him into the grave a lot faster with these reports that he's submitting to the media? Do you think William's behind it? Or do you think the UK media is just grabbing this information on their own and basically trying to make their king look horrible. Rumors are, it's Prince William. And Harry said, William will do it to you. Let me know what you think. Until next time, bye-bye.